All right, so today, guys, we are going to be talking about confidence and what is it and how do you actually get that confidence when you need it? And welcome to Relaxed Mail. All right. Um, so, been a little while. I know. Um, if you are, if you want to know what's been happening in the past three, four months since I last did an actual video, <laughs> just hang out uh, till the end of the video, and I will just I'll break it all down and let you know what's been happening in the in the world of Relaxed Mail and why Relaxed Mail had to take about a th four month uh, hiatus for, uh, from the, the YouTube channel. So anyhow, wanted to, let's go ahead and let's dive in because I know some of you guys are wanting to know about what confidence. A lot of people suffer from what they think of as a, a lack of confidence. They don't have the confidence to go out and meet people. They don't have a conf they don't, they don't have the self-confidence uh, to do what they want. Uh, confidence seems to be something that holds a lot of people back. It is the one of the big excuses as to why things don't get done. Why do you not achieve the the goals and the and the objectives you've always been hankering to achieve? Well, the the reason why people don't have a, a, a means of self-confidence is a couple of different reasons. It's both a combination of mindset but it's also just a lack of practice and knowing what people are really looking for when they are trying to become more self uh, self confident. When you see someone who is confident, what do you think of? You think of someone who is, say, a, there's a crowded room, and someone walks in, they hold themselves in a particular way, and they go strutting in, and they have no problem. Say, hey, how you doing? They shake in everybody's hands or walking in there emoting this this sense of of surety they they know who they are they know what they're here for they know what all uh, all their uh, all that they're doing has a purpose and so they are doing all the stuff that they do is actually has a a purpose to their actions so they emote this sense of self-confidence they're very confident in themselves is another way to look at it how do you get that? Well, that's just a mindset issue right there. That You just have to say and have it in your head that you're going to be confident. You have to, say, you have to tell yourself and you have to get around to actually believing that you have the confidence built inside of you. Confident, that type of confidence where you're walking in doesn't mean the person walking in isn't scared at all. That doesn't have a meaning at all. They may be just as nervous as as the next person. When someone walks into a room, they can have just the same amount of anxiety and fear and and lack of self confidence as anybody else. the The difference between someone who's going who doesn't act on their on their behalf uh, on their own behalf and is you know they're all shrunk up in a corner, being not having the self-confidence to go out into the world and and to shake everybody's hand and the guy who goes out and smiles and shakes hands and has a good time the sole difference between these two that makes all the difference in the world and I'm gonna give away the secret sauce at the beginning is they do it they actually take this time to step out and actually shake hands they they go out once you make that first step the second step's a lot easier. What is it about self-confidence that holds people back, and why is it that they seem that the the lack of surety hold, uh, keeps a person from being able to achieve the self-confidence that they're wanting? Well, the main thing is the fact that they don't do. They they are allowed the big F word to stay, to come into play, and that F word is fear. They are afraid of what people are going to think and in all reality people don't care what you think of them all right they come in they're going to have they may have a thought of oh who's this guy or or hey who's this loser but you're never going to know what they're actually thinking you can look at their face and you might be able to tell 
what someone's thinking. But as we know, uh, thanks to today's uh, social media, you know, it's there's no there's no telling. There's this thing called rich, uh, resting bitch face. So you, people think you're mad, and in all reality, you're just you're just sitting there. You're not. You don't have a thought going through your head. You're just your face is just resting, and it looks like you're pr uh, pissed off. Now you could actually consciously start you know start smiling and and that would make it uh, make a change but when it comes to confidence so what are some ways that you can actually get more confident in your actions well first off is to be uncomfortable accept the fact that you're going to be uncomfortable when you do something new all right whether it's going into a crowded room full of people you've never met or standing in front of a stage, in front of a whole, in front of just your friends. Just, it doesn't matter what you're going to do. If you're doing something new, you're going to be unsure about yourself. You're going to be unsure how to act. You're going to be unsure of the, uh, unsure of how life, uh, how everyone's going to be, be going to take your, your thoughts. I personally am actually contemplating, do, seeing about what I can do about doing a TEDx talk, which, Every time I think of that, it just, oh my God, I'm, you know, I've not ever spoke in front of people since high school. And that was a class in a room full of maybe 20 people. So I've got a ways to go um, before I am, um, <laughs> before I get to the point where I'm going to be able to do a TEDx talk at the minimum. Um, but I'm starting the, the path towards doing that, that particular talk. But to do so, you have to have the mindset. Now, and it helps if you have an abundant mindset. But you don't have to actually, you don't, even if you have a scarcity mindset, you can change. That's one of the great things about people. Your, your ability uh, and how far you go is contingent strictly on, on you. It, there's no one else that has anything, any bearing about what uh, you can or can't do. The only person who tells you you can't do something is actually you. So, so you have to have enough willpower to go ahead and start doing that one thing that you want to do, but you're not sure whether you can or cannot do. So, one of the one thing you can do to actually start building up self-confidence is to do what you're what you're afraid of doing. You're afraid to speak in front of people. Start making videos and posting them up on on YouTube. There, that's a start. From there, you can actually get around to where maybe you find that uh, there's a a uh, Toastmasters around. Start talking at Toastmasters. Start doing that. Start doing that thing that scares you so much and prevents you from having the confidence to do whatever it is. Do that until. It, become, it starts to become second nature, like speaking in public. It helps if you start doing, you know, Toastmasters and start talking in front of, uh, in Rotary Club meetings, talk in uh, front of Lions Club meetings, uh, a TEDx, you know, just even a little uh, local TEDx type, TED type event where anybody can get up and speak for 10 minutes. Do it, man. <laughs> if you're scared of walking into a room and just looking confident, Start practicing that. Walk in, how would you walk into a room? If you were confident, how would you walk into a room? That's a, that's a good question. You wouldn't walk in there going, uh, how do I, you know. You don't walk in all hunched over. You stand up tall. You may have your chest boat, not boat out, but you know, have chest, uh, uh, your back straight and your shoulders back, you know, and your head up. And you look. You purposely think. Look them in the eye. 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 And you can, if you're like me, you have to think that. You have to think. Well, oh, look them in. The, look them in the eye. Make sure you make eye contact with them. Because if you don't, I have a bad habit of just starting. And as you know, if you ever watch my eyes while watching video, I have a horrible habit of looking everywhere, or but at the lens. And I have to actually force myself to look in the lens of the camera because if I don't, I'm over here, I'm talking and I'm looking at everything but you. And that's, if I want to make the connection that I want to make, I have to look right into the camera, into the lens of the camera, and I look at you. To be confident, 
To have the confidence is basically just the surety that you have done something before. Are you going to mess up? Oh, shoot, yeah, man. You're going to walk in there and you're going to go, his name's Ron, his name's Ron, his name's Ron. Hey, Bill, how you doing? Ron, how you doing? You know, you're going to, you're going to screw up and you're going to make gaffes and you're going to you you're going to go oh my god what was i thinking you're going to do rookie mistakes all the things that you're scared to death of doing you're going to do and accept that the fact that you're going to do those you do that type of stuff and you do and you accept and you roll with the punches and you learn from those experiences that's having that again abundant mindset your chances of improving and becoming more sure of yourself are going to improve time and time again so get out there and make sure that, and, and just do. Now, a lot of people are afraid of going out there being self-confident. And I really want to touch on this real quick because this is a very big misconception. Why you, a lot of people go, well, I want to be confident, but I don't want to be arrogant. Well, arrogance and self-confidence are two separate things, all right? Arrogance comes from a scarcity mindset while self-confidence comes from an abundant mindset. Uh, arrogance is you're going to teach people how that you're, you're show people that you are the best and you're you're it and you're gonna uh, you're you're you know that you don't have that skill and so you're going to overcompensate you're gonna have that sense of arrogance I know all everything and I don't need to be taught about this is that sense and that the language that you're going to be emoting when you have a sense uh, of arrogance, while with a self, sense of self-confidence, you're confident in yourself. You know that if you mess up, you're going to, you can learn from that mistake. You're going to learn from the, uh, the, the problems that are, that you come about, that come about uh, with your exploration and the adventure of whatever it is you're learning to do. Um, you're okay with the mess ups. You're okay with the flubs and and you're okay with the stumbling of the words because each time you do this you know you're getting a little bit better you're getting stronger you're self-confident enough to know that your muscles are going to grow every time you lift weights your endurance is going to get a little bit better every mile you run that self-confidence comes with practice self-confidence is you know what I don't know it all I know what I do know and that's okay and that's enough to get me to where I need to be. And if I don't if I don't know enough, then I will learn along the way. That's the self-confidence. That's the confidence that most people really want to have. So from now, try. Go out. Enjoy a sounds like someone's having a good time. <laughs> so go out. Do something that scares you. Do as, as Eleanor Roosevelt said, go out and do one thing every day that scares you um, and the more you do that the more you're going to be okay with that oh you know that sensation of oh my gosh what's going to happen and you're going to you're going to, to become more self-confident and and more sure of yourself every time so thanks again for uh, watching I'm Brian and stay because you're fixing to find out why I haven't been here in about four months okay so where in the heck have I been well, um, as you know, my day job is driving a truck. Now, for a while, I worked for a wonderful company that was in the oil field. And around March, the oil field got a little shaky. Um, I held on, I held on, and I held on. I got all the way up, went to... Uh, uh, Went to uh, to Pottsville, which is where I shot the last set uh, uh, video. And after that, the oil field really took a dip. But the company that I worked for tr was trying everything they could to make sure that we were busy. Um, so we, the prices uh, for for hauling frac sand, which is what I normally did, really took a, took a hit. And so we had to start trying and hustling to doing other things. So not only was I hauling sand. We started hauling cement and we started doing other things and trying to find and scramble up work and it meant that I had to be out more. Um, so I was gone a lot more and then around, oh let's see, probably about uh, August I would say, um, we uh, just couldn't find anything uh, sand oriented, find a lot of work 
in the western Oklahoma area. So the company sent us all over into Odessa to help another company. And it worked. I mean, it was it brought in some money. It was low money, and I didn't have enough money. There for a while, there was two months out of that four months that I didn't even have internet. I know I was horrified and 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 uh, I was doing I was still scrambling all this time I was still scrambling making sure I at least produced some type of content for you over on relaxedmail.com um, and so uh, I got we it finally got so bad uh, with uh, that our mortgage company we lost our I had our electricity shut off a couple times um, we were fighting everything tooth and nail and I'm the sole breadwinner because I, I liked the opportunity the fact that I was I took pride in the fact that my didn't have my wife didn't have to work she wanted to she could if she wanted to but she didn't have to and so because of that she was able to be home and so it was as I my my income dropped so did our opportunities of being able to just uh, to allow money to flow through me <laughs> so Things got really scarce. Things got shut off, uh, and we have slowly been getting everything, gotten everything turned back on, and playing catch up on the stuff that didn't get shut off. So there was a lot of me going to public Wi-Fi areas so I could upload uh, blog posts and, and things along those lines. I still had my phone, so there's times I was able to connect to the my, to the, my laptop to my phone, get and get stuff, videos uploaded. But I'd never had quite the bandwidth. Of, of free time to actually make videos. Uh, I did try to do some live videos over on, on Facebook and it didn't really work um, that well just because Western Oklahoma has no cell signal. <laughs> there is none. It's a, you may see some place in the middle of town that's got a, a lot of, uh, got full bars, but the moment you get outside, poof, nothing. Um, I did find one place out in the middle of BFE that was 20 miles away from any town, and there was a, I had full bars. But um, the problem with trying to make videos there is we were, first off, Western, uh, Western Texas in the Odessa Permian, uh, Permian uh, Basin area, I don't want that much dirt around my camera equipment. Um, I don't need the uh, the lenses and stuff grinding up and coming to a halt because there's dirt in in the in the uh, the mechanics of the of the camera. So I I didn't make any videos. I tried using uh, the uh, my my iPhone and it's okay. Sounds not near as good as what this is. So that's what's been happening. I'm getting back up. Things are gearing back up. And in fact, we're fixing to have a uh, start doing. Uh, uh, start doing a podcast so uh, I'll be announcing that here probably in the next two to three weeks so anyhow folks I want to thank you very much for uh, for watching this little extra bit at the end uh, you take care have a great rest of the week and I will see you next Friday